But, but, I... <laughs> Shady gang, what's good? Welcome back to another show with August with the Shade. Now, I would not be me if I ain't throw no shade, so y'all go ahead and get ready because you know it's about to go down. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I got a nice little commercial for you, okay? Now, this video is going to be about Nicki Minaj, Erica Banks, as well as Megan Thee Stallion and Quilla Ray. Now... Let's go ahead and get into Megan Thee Stallion. Now, Megan Thee Stallion did uh, perform at Coachella. She did look very, very good, okay? And Megan Thee Stallion has been working out. She has been listening to some of the blogs when they've been talking crazy to her. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Megan looked great. Megan looked it. She did okay in the performance and all that. But I do want to get into one part of the performance that I thought was, they kind of blew everybody on Twitter. Now, a lot of the times that Megan Thee Stallion has been performing, she has not been playing Nicki Minaj's verse on Hot Girl Summer. Now, we know Hot Girl Summer is the way that Megan Thee Stallion basically broke into the game. Okay, so this time, she decided to use Nicki Minaj's background tracks on the song it was dancing to it and all that let's take a look at it okay so as you see i don't know what that's about maybe she out here pandering to Nicki minaj because she don't want none of op nika but you know what i'm saying this is a great thing shout out to you for showing love to Nicki minaj period okay now, the other thing that had everybody talking about megan the stallion was this new song that she just premiered now y'all know i'm not a megan the stallion fan for some reasons okay but megan the stallion did eat this track up y'all take a listen now they are allegedly saying Megan Thee Stallion is busting them at Tory Lanez. Now we don't know because she is talking about a couple of people. Y'all know Megan Thee Stallion love to beat around the bush, but we will see when the song come out because everybody right now on the internet is saying that it is a hit. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. Now Erica Banks did premiere on a new podcast that they have on Revolt. Well, I don't want to say it's new, but it's kind of new to a lot of people because a lot of people haven't really been watching it. But Erica Banks did premiere on that show and. They brought up some situation that happened with Nicki Minaj and her. I don't really want to call it a situation. I want to call it just Nicki Minaj blocking her and keeping it moving. They never had a relationship. Nicki did show her, uh, you know, some love a couple of years ago and all that. But it ain't really nothing, you know. Erica Banks stuck her nose in something that she shouldn't have stuck her nose in. And now she's paying for the reper repercussions. Now, d now, does she have an opinion? Yes, she can make that opinion. But you cannot be mad about the things that happened right after. Now, y'all take a look and listen to what she had to say on this podcast. Well, you know, I love Nicki, but... I just feel like I've been trying to reach out to her for a long time and I just feel like she kind of ignored me and I feel like she entertained the girls who really don't even know how to rap. You know what I'm saying? And my feelings hurt. Like who? Woo! Now I want to get my full opinion on this because there's something about these Texas girls when they get around Nicki Minaj, they, be get, they, they become very, very, very phony, very weak. And I just don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because Megan Thee Stallion got around Nicki Minaj and it's kind of snake turf for Cardi B. Um, Asian Doll was literally just seen jamming to Cardi B's new song. Now, if y'all don't tell me that's op behavior, that's op behavior. So Nicki Minaj blocking you literally is just her clearing her piece. You shouldn't even take it any kind of way. Okay, if you are going to be big enough in this industry, you will, run, you will be able to run into Nicki Minaj the same way Young Miami did and other girls. Listen, do not take it like that. You're not that good of a rapper now that's what i do want to get into real quick i want to get into you trying to throw shade at koi Lorray. now you are saying that Nicki minaj are is showing love to girls that do not rap now is it love because they're rapping or is it love because she's showing they're showing her love stop being like don't do that because it's not about the rapping it's about the love and the genuine love that asian dog cannot rap but Nicki still show her love you understand what i'm saying you are not that good of a rapper now you all over here talking about toot that and bust it with some of the weakest lyrics and you're talking about being a rapper girl you really need to sit down and you need to take a chill pill because literally i don't know who's out here pumping your head up giving you all of this false hope because i promise you Nicki Minaj don't even know you like that. Like, just, just keep it real. She don't know you. She don't even know the other girl that you were talking about, which is Young Baby Tate. Y'all need to stop pandering around for Nicki Minaj to do a feature with y'all. It's not going to work. If Nicki wants to do a feature with y'all, it's because y'all talent has surpassed. It's, her, it's because your talent is doing what needs to be done. Quilla Ray has been doing what needs to be done. Like, she almost sold a million on her, her album. So let's just talk about that. Now, you have not sold as much as her. Now, yes, you did have a song on the Billboard because of TikTok. But after that, you have not been able to do the same thing that you did in 2020. Quilla Ray has. So you got to back down because literally she's showing you right here. All of her songs are platinum. She's doing what needs to be done. Stop it. Stop it. Don't talk about record sales if you know that you probably couldn't even make 10K. You know? You probably wouldn't even be able to do what she did. So stop it. I'm pretty sure that nobody would buy Erica Banks' album just like they didn't buy her single. Okay? I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that Erica Banks is still pandering to Nicki Minaj even bringing up this situation? What do you think about Asian Doll dancing to Cardi B's new song? What do you think about Megan Thee Stallion now, you know, playing Nicki Minaj's Hot Girl Summer Verse and her little disc record to Tory Lanez? I want to know what y'all think in the comments. Okay? Like this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure that you give me a big, big thumbs up. Make sure your notification bells are turned on so you don't miss every single time that I drop a video or when I go Go live okay remember this video is sponsored by my girl spiritual shit go and follow Bella with the shady tea in barb's basement i love y'all so much bye
Like, just something just ain't right. And I don't know what it is, but, like, I have a deep feeling inside of me that it's just, like, I don't, I really don't know where your loyalty is. And I feel like some fishy really going on. Hey, you know the barbs only do top floor, top notch. That is why for the month of April, which is my birthday month, and the month of 420, we are going to celebrate every lit wine sold with 22% off. Uh, what? 22% off of every lit wine purchase. Shady Gang, the reason why y'all over here with August and Rello is because y'all love exclusive content. Get you a lit wine, protect your nails, keep other people's fingers off of your shit. Elevate your intentional high. Shady Gang, 22% off. 422 is also Earth Day. What is the cannabis? It is the Earth. So we're going to celebrate it. <laughs> Love you, boo things.